Hi everybody, it's Kasha Dupuy here from the Niagara on the Lake Public Library um, and we're here for STEAM Storytime. So it's been another week um, and every Wednesday at 11 o'clock we meet here to read a cool story about a STEAM idea um, and get some really cool STEAM activities to do at home. Um, so if you don't know what STEAM is, it's uh, concepts about science, technology, engineering, or environment, art, and math. And those are the things that we talk about every single Wednesday right here, live from our Facebook page. Um, so we're gonna wait another minute or so to get a couple more friends. I see people joining in, which is awesome. Um, so we're gonna wait another minute or so, and then I'll flip over the camera, and then we will get started with this week's Steam Story Time. Yes. Hope everyone's having a wonderful, warm Wednesday. It's not as cold as it's been here the last couple of days. Um, the sun's out. Um, and there's, uh, you don't have to wear as heavy as a coat. It's quite a beautiful morning. So I hope you are actually getting outside. Um, and maybe after today's steam, some of the things that we'll talk about, you'll get out and go do after that. Mm -hmm. So we'll just wait another minute or so before we get started with the story. Um, but you know what? Why don't I flip over the camera and say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Kasha Dupuy here again from the Niagara on the Lake Public Library. And we're here for steam story time. Um, so just before we get started, a couple things. Um, if you are joining us um, and you want to say hi in the comments, I have my computer right over here uh, so I can see if you're there and I'll say hi. I can type back or I can wave. Um, also, if you've noticed, again, I'm back in the library. Um, it's a very busy morning here. There's lots of movement around. Um, so you might see some people in the background walking by or the doorbell ringing or the phone ringing. That's okay. It will just make the, today's Steam Story Time more exciting. Um, and then yes, if you can only stay for a little bit of steam today, don't worry. We upload all of our steam story time videos to our YouTube channel. Uh, so if you can only stay for a little bit or if something happens midway through, uh, you can always check it out there after. We up try to upload them right after we're done with the live stream today. Also, just a little reminder too, I have my mask. So yes, I'm in the library. I'm sitting down at the table though, so, so I don't need to wear it, um, but I do have it in case because that's the best way to keep yourself and other people safe, right? Okay, so you know what? Why don't we get started Started, started with this week's book? So we're going to read, we're going on a leaf hunt, written by Steve Metzger and illustrated by Mickey Sakamoto, which is one of my favorite books. It's actually kind of like a song that I used to sing with my kids. Um, and it was actually published in 2005 by Cartwheel Books, which is a division of Scholastic. So this book we're going to use to talk about all of the autumn changes that are happening around us outside. Um, so we're mainly going to talk about the different colors that the trees are changing, that the leaves on the trees. So as we go through this book today, I have some colors of paint right over here. Right here, you can't really see them yet, but you will. Um, and we're going to see what colors the book tells us or that we know um, would be in the changing colors of the leaves. So let me move over just a little bit so I can give you more room for the book. And again, this book is called We're Going on a Leaf Hunt, and it's by Steve Metzger, illustrated by Miki Sakamoto, and it was published in 2005 um, by Cartwheel Books, which is a division of Scholastic. So thank you very much, um, Cartwheel and Scholastic, for letting us use this awesome book in our Steam Story Time today. So let's get started. We're going on a leaf hunt. Let's see if it's in. Perfect. Okay. We're going on a leaf hunt. We're going right away. Let's find colorful leaves. It's a wonderful day. There's three kits. One, two, three. So let's look at this page really quick. What colors do you see already? You see quite a few. I see green and orange and some yellow. I see brown on the tree trunk here and I see some red. I think I said orange already. Yeah, there's all the colors in between those as well. So let's see what the book shares with us. We're coming to a mountain, a tall, tall mountain. We can't go under it. We have to go over it. We're coming to a mountain. Come on, let's go. Climb, climb, huff, puff. We made it. So I'm all the way up the mountain there. Pick up those leaves from the maple tree. So what color are the maple tree leaves? Maybe tell the person you're with right now. Yep, they're orange. So look, I have some orange paint. We're gonna use that in our next activity. So they got some orange leaves from the maple tree. We're going on a leaf hunt. We're going right away. 
Let's find colorful leaves. It's a wonderful day. We're coming to a forest, a dark, dark forest. We can't go over it. We have to go through it. We're coming to a forest. Come on, let's go. Step, step, squish, squash. We made it. Look at that forest. Pick up those leaves from the birch tree. What color are those leaves? Now, actually, this one's very interesting. There's actually two colors of leaves in there. I'm going to hold it a little bit closer so you guys can see. There's yellow. Yep, there's some yellow, so we're going to put some yellow over here. But if you look right here, what color's in there? It's actually like a green, so we're going to do yellow and green leaves. So we're going to add those colors to our um, group over here, and we're going to use them in our STEAM story time mm -hmm. activity. We're going on a leaf hunt. We're going right away. Let's find colorful leaves. It's a wonderful day. We're coming to a waterfall, a swooshing, swooshing waterfall. We can't go through it. We have to go around it. We're coming to a waterfall. Come on, let's go. Slip, slide, splish, splash. We made it. Pick up those leaves from the hickory tree. Huh, what color are leaves do you see in that tree? Kind of more like a brown, isn't it? So luckily for us, I have some brown. We can put some brown in for our steam activity. Mm -hmm. They're playing in the leaves. Who likes playing the leaves? I love to play in the leaves. I think we're going to do that later today, actually, when I get home, which also means I get to rake leaves today. <laughs> we're going on a leaf hunt. We're going right away. Let's find colorful leaves. It's a wonderful day. Look at all those colors there. So pretty. We're coming to a lake. A cold, cold lake. We can't go around it. We have to go across it. We're coming to a lake. Come on, let's go. Row, row, plip, plop. We made it. What are they using? Yeah, a boat. Kind of like a canoe, but it's a boat. And those are the paddles that they're using to push and pull their way to the other side of the lake. Oh, what color is that? Pick up those leaves from the red oak tree. Mm -hmm. So we need some red. So I've got some red paint here. We'll put it over there and we'll put it in our steam activity. So let's see what happens next. What's that sound? It's coming from that bush. It's black. It's white. It's black and white. It's a, a skunk. Let's go. That's what I would do if I saw a skunk. I would run the other way. Back across the lake. Flip flop, back past the waterfall, splish splash. Back through the forest, squish squash, back over the mountain, puff puff. They went a long way. We're home. We went on a leaf hunt. What a wonderful day. We found lots of colorful leaves. Now let's jump and play. Awesome. So that was We're Going on a Leaf Hunt, written by Steve Metzger and illustrated by Mickey, uh, Mickey yep, Sakamoto. And again, published 20, 2005 um, by Cartwheel Books, which is a division of Scholastic. Thank you very much for letting us use this awesome book in our STEAM story time today. So we went through the book and we saw all the colors, which are right here, that the kids found when they were going on their very own leaf hunt. So I have a picture. Actually, I have a video to show you. Um, that I want you to take a look at and see if you can see any of the colors that we talked about in the book. Um, and I'm going to put the camera down right over here, so right down there, and I'm going to show you what our activity is. But while I'm setting that up, I want you guys to watch this video. Yeah, so there's all different colors in there. Can you see the green? Can you see the orange? What about that red? The red is very vibrant um, in this video here, and I love the way that it pans over. Really cool, eh? All the different colors you can see. There's red and orange and yellow and some green and some brown and some black. And then there's a lake as you get close to the end there. I thought it was the sky at first, but it, the lake is actually reflecting the sky. So it's so calm, that lake, that it's reflecting the sky. So I'm going to switch back over to the camera right here, and we're going to start our steam activity today. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to make our own scene just like that video that I just showed you. We're going to do a fall landscape today. So some of the things you're going to need for this is some paper, um, some paints, which I have right over here. I'm going to move them a little bit closer, just like that. Um, you're going to need something to put your paints on. You're going to need some crayons. So I have some blues here, some blues and some yellows. And it's like a kind of a cool teal color that I thought would look nice in the sky. And I have some browns because we're going to draw some tree trunks. And then you need to get a whole bunch of different kinds of materials that you can kind of squish together just like that. So I will show you what we're going to do with those. But I have some paper towel. I have some um, different paper towel. It's more papery. I have some regular old paper. I have a napkin. You can use plastic wrap or an old bag. You can use whatever you wish. But make sure you're asking before you use it because we're going to dip it in paint. So let's get some of those colors that we talked about in the book. So there's some yellow right here, right there. I'm going to put them here. And then I have some green that was in the birch tree, I believe. And then the red was the maple. Okay. And then the orange was the, hmm, I forget. Maybe you can remember. But there was a tree that had orange. Let me look open the book because when I want to find out the answer to a question, I look back. Oh, so it was a maple and then the red was the red oak. So it was the orange from a maple, but I do remember the brown is from a hickory tree. Mm -hmm. So we'll get a little bit of brown on there too. So we have all of our colors right here. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to move these out of the way a little bit. Um, we're going to use these to make some tree. We're going to make a tree line. But first, we need to do some sky. So I'm going to take my teal and my blue. You can use whatever colors you want. And you're just going to take your crayon and start filling in the space. And I'm actually going to cover this whole space just like so. Cover the whole sheet. Just like that. So I have one layer here. If I press harder, do you see how it gets darker blue? And just be, and even though it looks like I'm just kind of scribbling, doesn't it start to look like clouds? Just like that. Yeah, scribbling is good. Sometimes it's very good for your brain to just get the scribbles out. Then I'm going to take some of the teal, and we're going to add some. You can't really see it that much, actually. I thought it would stand out a little bit more, but that's okay. Just like that. It'll just add some dimension. So up close, you'd be able to see the teal, but maybe not from far away. And now, what could the yellow be? It could be for a sunshine, for a sun, for some sunshine. Instead of doing yellow everywhere, I'm actually just going to do a little bit of yellow right here. Maybe the sun is hiding off the page over here. So I'm just going to put a little bit of yellow in just to give it some more interest as well. Just like that. So we made our sky. So we took some crayon, some blue crayon and some teal crayon and a little bit of yellow. And I just filled this whole thing. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my browns, and I think this is black. Let's test it in a little spot. Yep, it's a black one there. All I'm going to do is I'm going to make a whole bunch of trunks. Now, they don't have to be any special size. They don't have to be any special color, but you want to switch them up. And they don't need to be neat and pretty. You don't need to take your time and do like one perfect. Nope, this is kind of like an abstract painting or an, a mixed media painting. So it's all about the idea of a tree and the idea of a forest. So I did my light brown first, and I'm going to put some of this dark brown here. I'm just going to go in between, maybe make some a little thicker, some a little, you know, um, thinner, some taller, some shorter, just like that. This is very fun. There we go. So I've built like a forest because it's very dense and very deep. Now, if you have a black, what you can do is you can go every once in a while and put a few little of these ones in just to give it like some shadows in that forest because we said it's really deep forest. And when it's deep and dark, we don't always see too much sunshine. So we get shadows. And then what you can do actually is take some black and put it along the bottom here. So this could be the ground. And then you can take a little bit of the brown too and just kind of work it in like so. There we go. Just gonna put a few more up here, just like that. This is very fun. I hope you try this because I love making quick art like this that turns out amazing. Okay, 
So right now it just kind of looks like grass, right? Looks like grass that kind of is going brown um, because of the frost or the cold, but we're going to turn this into a forest, a very autumn fall forest. So watch what we're going to do now. We're done with the crayons. We have our paints and we have all of these different materials we're going to use to do some print making. So I'm going to start with this napkin and I'm going to open it up and kind of squish it like this and make a ball. So I have a ball just like so. Okay. So I'm going to start with some of my paints. I'm going to get some yellow and I'm going to dab, 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 dab. And I'm going to start to build some trees just like that. Okay. Now yellow, um, now yellow is actually a little bit see-through. So don't worry if you can see through, you can see the trees through it. That is totally okay. That's like a real forest. We do see some branches poking up through some trees, don't we? And I'm just going to wipe this up. Not that I can. It's not a big deal. I can wipe it up after. So I did my first layer. I did some yellow. And it's always good to start with yellow um, because yellow kind of blends into everything. So I'm going to use the same one. And I'm going to go into maybe some orange. And I'm going to take some orange, dab it in a new spot. Just jump, 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 jump. See how it spreads it out? And you can start to build an orange tree just like so. Oh, I'm running out, but does not look like a real, like real leaves. Yeah. Printmaking techniques like this can give you some really cool techniques just like that, that make it look real. Doesn't that look pretty too? So that was my napkin. Let's try this. Let's see if I get a different look from this. So I'm going to roll it into a ball and the more crinkly and the more little folds you have, the better your tree is going to look. So let's go into some green. Oh, and I got some yellow on there. And guess what? I'm going to mix them together. Get like a greeny yellow, just like that. And you know what? I'm going to put some at the bottom too. So it looks like some grass. And once leaves fall from the tree, where do they fall to? They fall to the ground. So you can add some of those details on the ground as well. I'm going to go back to some orange and put some at the bottom there. Okay, now let's see. I'm going to go into the red. Oh, look at how beautiful that red is. Oh, look, I have a little bit of green still on there. Just going to build that up to make it look like some leaves in the forest. What do you guys think? Pretty cool? Ooh, look at that. Very pretty. Let's put some on the ground. Maybe some fell down there too. Okay. Now I have one more color. Oh, do you see what I forgot to do? I forgot to blot it first. I forgot to go over here, but it just made it really, really like strong. Yeah. And the more you blot it away, the more you're spreading that paint out and it goes somewhere else. Yeah. Now the last color that we need to use is some brown. So I'm going to use this last one. And this one has little dots. I'm not sure if you can see up close. This kind of paper towel has some dots. Let's make it really squishy. I'm going to use a little bit of brown, just like so. And I'm going to add some of these into that forest, just like so. And you know what? I'm going to put some more green on top. So this project is really fun because you can just keep going and going with it. You can keep adding layers, you can let it dry, you can do whatever you wish in between to make it look like a really cool fall scene by just using some paint, some crayons, and different kind of things you can crumple up and um, like stamp with. So this was a printmaking technique and it's just like steam, it's a steam thing. So we um, used, uh, we talked about art and we talked about color mixing and we talked about what happens to the environment while we're doing this really fun activity. So while I get our camera set back up, I have another video to show you. Um, so I'm just going to do that right here. And this is kind of like what we just made, right? We made a landscape. So we used all those fall colors to make something that looks like that. We didn't quite put the ocean in, or sorry, the lake in there, but you can if you wish, this is your piece of art. So you can totally do that. Yeah, doesn't that look so pretty? All the different colors. That one is very yellow and orange there. Okay, so thanks for joining me for this week's Steam Story Time. Um, we read a really awesome book, uh, one of my favorites, about going on a leaf hunt, and we talked about the different colors that the kids found when they went on a leaf hunt. Um, we made some really cool um, 
fall leaf inspired artwork, which is crayons, paint, and some napkins and paper towel. Um, and one more thing I'd like you to do is today, because it's such a beautiful day, go outside and see if you can find even more autumn colors. Um, I have a tree by my house that the leaves are actually purple. So that's a color we could put in our fall landscape. Um, but yes, I'd like to hear what you come up with and what you find. You can always send me an email um, with a picture or you can find us on social media. My email is right on the side there, kdupuy um, at notlpl.org. Um, and also, yes, if you're posting some stuff to social media, make sure to tag us in there. Again, this video will be up on YouTube very shortly. Um, I'm just going to put it up there as soon as I'm done. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday. Um, and we will see you next Wednesday for a very special student story time. We're going to be talking about poppies. Um, so I'm probably going to send out a materials list on our Facebook page about a day or so ahead of time because um, there's some really cool stuff we're going to do. Um, but yes, thank you again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed all of the really fun steam stuff we did today. And enjoy the rest of the day. And don't forget to go on that leaf hunt. <laughs> okay, see you later, everyone. And let me just flip this over. We'll see you next Wednesday. Bye, everybody.